particular men shape of the Cyclops size. The metal markets steal to the very back, run with wrongs more than our backs can bear. We sit there as justice in earth or hell. We will solicit the gods and move the heavens to send down justice to wreak our wrongs. Come, to the skin! <laughs> to it, boy! Marcus, loose what I did. Kinsman, you should call your shafts into the court. <laughs> we will afflict the emperor in his pride. <laughs> now, masters, draw! <laughs> My lord, I am a mile beyond the moon. Your lair is with Jupiter by this. <laughs> there it goes. God give his lordship joy! <laughs> <laughs> Saturninus held, whom if she sleep, so awake as she shall in fury cut off the proudest conspirator that lives. Oh. Titus, I have touched thee to the quick. Oh, what's the news with thee, Amaris? <laughs> <laughs> Art, 
Pardon my lord. Rome never had more cause. The gods have gathered head with the power. Hard resolved men bent to the spoil. They hid the march of main. Under the conduct of Lucius, son of old Andronicus. This warlike Lucius, leader of the Goths. to approach. Tis he the common people love. Myself have often overheard them say when I walked like a private man that Lucius' banishment was wrongfully. And they had wished that Lucius were the emperor. Why should you fear? Hmm? Is your city not strong? I. He will not entreat his son for us. If Tamora entreat him, then he will. Go thou before. Say the emperor requests a parley of war like Lucius, and appoint the meeting even in his father's house, the old Andronicus. Amelius, do this message honorably, and if he stand on hostage for his safety, Bid him demand what pledge will please him best. Your bidding shall I do a factual. Now will I, to Andronicus, to temper him with all the art I have to pluck proud Lucius from the warlike gods. And now, sweet emperor, be blithe again. Bury all thy fears in my devices. <laughs> And go! Successively, and plead to it. Here's no sound jest. The old man hath found their guilt, 
and sends them weapons wrapped about with lines that wound beyond their feeling to the quick. But were our witty empress well afoot, she would applaud Andronicus' conceit, but let her rest in her unrest. Oh. Ah, come, let us go and give thanks to all the gods for our beloved mother, mother and her pains. Pray to the devils, the gods have given us over. Why do the Emperor's trumpets flourish thus? Like for joy, the Emperor and Alcana's son. Soft, who comes here? Come on, Lord. Tell me, have you seen Aaron the Lord? Well, more or less. Why, Lord, you are not Well, more or less, or narrow with it all. <laughs> here Aaron is, and what with Aaron now? Gentle Aaron, help. We are all undone. Now, woe betide thee evermore. Why, what a caterwauling dost thou keep? What dost thou wrap and fumble in thine arms? That which I would hide from heaven's eye, our upper shame and saintly Rome's disgrace. She is delivered. Lord, she is delivered. To whom? I mean, she's brought a bed. Well, <laughs> God give her good joy. What hath he sent her? A devil. Then she is the devil's dam. A joyful issue. A joyless, dismal, black, and sorrowful issue. Here is the babe, as loathsome as a toad among the fairest breeders of our clime. The emperor sends it thee, thy stamp, thy seal, and bids thee christen it with thy dagger's point. Damn she, whore! Is black so base of you? Oh, sweet blouse, you are a beauteous blossom, sure. Villain, what hast thou done? That which thou canst not undo. Thou hast undone our mother. Villain, I have done thy mother. <laughs> <laughs> and therein, hellish dog, thou hast undone. Won't do her chance and damn her loaded choice. Accursed the offspring of so foul a fiend. It shall not live. It shall not die. Aaron, it must. The mother wills it so. What? Must it, nurse? Then let no man but I do execution on my flesh and blood. I, I will broach the tadpole on my rapier's point. Ah, give it me. My sword shall soon dispatch it. Sooner this sword should plow thy bowels up. <laughs> Stay, murderous villain! Will you kill your brother? Now, by the burning tapers of the sky that shone so brightly when this boy was got, he dies upon my scimitar's sharp point that touches this my firstborn son and heir. What? What? Ye sanguine, shallow-hearted boys, ye white-lined walls, ye alehouse-painted signs, coal black, it's better than another hue, in that it scorns to bear another hue. For all the water in the ocean cannot turn the swan's black lakes to white, although she laid them hourly in the flood. Tell the empress from me, I am of age to keep mine own. Excuse it how she can. Wilt thou betray thy noble mistress thus? My mistress is my mistress. This is myself, the vigor and picture of my youth. This before all the world do I prefer. This maugre all the world will I keep see. By this our noble mother is forever shamed. The emperor in his rage will doom her death. I blush to think upon this ignorant. Why, there's the privilege your beauty bears. Fine, treacherous hue, that will betray with blushing the close and acts and counsels of the heart. Here's a lad framed of another leer. Black slave smiles at the father, as who should say, O oh, lad, I am thine own. <laughs> he is your brother, lords, sensibly fed of that self blood that first gave life to you. And from that womb where you imprisoned were, he is enfranchised and come to life. Nay, he is your brother, by the sure side, although my seal be stamped in his face. What then shall I say unto the emperor? Advise thee, Aaron, what is to be done, and we will all subscribe to thy advice. Then sit Keep we the down. child safe, and so we may all be safe. Then sit we down, and let us all consult. My son and I will have the wind of you. Keep there! Now, talk at pleasure of your safety. <laughs> How many women! saw this child of his. Why so, brave lords? When we join in league, I am a lad. But brave the more, the chafe boar, the mountain lions? 
The ocean swells not so as Aaron storms. But say again, how many saw the child? Cornelia the midwife and myself, and no one else but the delivered empress. The empress, the midwife, and yourself. Two may keep counsel when the third's away. Go to the empress. Tell her this, I said. Yeah! We! We! <laughs> so cries a pig prepared to the spit. What meanest thou, Aaron? Wherefore didst thou this? Lord, sir, this was but a deed of policy. Shall she live to betray this guilt of ours? A long tongued battle in gossip. No, lords, no. And you must needs bestow her funeral. The fields are near, and you are gallant grooms. This done, see that you take no longer days, but send a midwife presently to me. The midwife and the nurse well done away, and let the ladies tattle what they please. Aaron, see thou wilt not trust the heir with secrets. And for this care of Tamara, herself and hers, are highly bound to thee. <laughs> now to the Goths, as swift as swallow flies, there to dispose this treasure in mine arms, and secretly to meet with the Empress's friends. Come on, you thick lit slave, I'll bear you hence, for it is you that puts us to our ships. I'll make you feed on berries and on roots, and feed on curds and whey, and suck the goat, and cabin in a cave and bring you up to be a warrior and command the camp. 